Hi guys, so I have been invited by Enrique, my friend, who is the Chief Operating Officer of Finma Prism for a little housewarming party showroom tour. It's actually his unit that we're gonna view. So I'm really excited because I haven't been here since the last time I was here with Danica Soto and I wanna see what has been happening and how Lika has evolved. So I was here last July again to visit Danica Soto, but wow, the construction, so many things have advanced. I can see they're already building other townhouses and I think they're about to build the clubhouse amenity center as well. Hey Steph! Hi, welcome again to Lika Residences. I am so excited to be here again. I'm looking forward to seeing all the changes in the properties. This is for you. Oh, you shouldn't have, but thanks so much. And you know what? This is great because I have friends over. I'd like you to meet them. Perfect! It's a really great Marietta. And I'm all right. looking forward, looking to, forward to meeting your friends. Too. <laughs> all right. Two <laughs> Wow, I actually remember this place from the last time. Right, this is my right, favorite right. spot here, yeah. So Steph, together with me today are my colleagues, Alice and Pete. Hi, Alice hi and Pete guys. Is Steph, hi, so she's hi, joining Steph. us today. Thank you, so nice to meet you guys. Sandali lang, there's one more guest Ooh, right here. Wait, <laughs> who's that? So cute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Julio, the VIP. AKA. Very, very important pet. Juju, Juju Bells. Bells. <laughs> Juju Bells, I love it. So cute. Yeah, I love bringing him here because it's very pet friendly. Yes. There's a lot of open spaces for him to enjoy right. and to run to. For sure. He's always yeah. here. Yeah. He's always here. He likes oh. a side visit. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have a dog also. I have a yeah. mini schnauzer, Pepper. Oh, yeah, she would love this. Yeah, you should so bring her best. next time. Next right. time I yeah. miss it. For right. Christmas edition. Yeah, the Christmas edition. <laughs> Christmas right. edition, yeah, correct. By the way, Steph, I forgot to mention, oh, we, we didn't really get to launch Lika Residences officially. Um, early this year, you know, and it's really nice to have you over and to to help us pretty much. Uh, well, sort of launch soft it. launching. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. It's so nice to be here, and it's a perfect day to do it too. It's like so blue sky, yes, yes, so fresco, yeah. you know. Right. And you know what? I also prepared some snacks for you guys. Oh yeah. Yeah, I brought a little Thanks bit a of merienda. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And guess what? I also made sure that it was kind of in theme with Likha. So okay. guys, I actually did something that's like modern Filipino also. So yeah, hey, I'm excited. Looking forward to that. Yeah, for sure. That. So it's somewhere here. Yeah. Somewhere and you know what? This is not my first time at Likha. Yeah. I've been here before. I heard yeah. you were here three months ago. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, can you tell me a little bit more about Likha Residenza? Sure, sure. I'll, I'll let Pete be the one okay. to tell us more about Likha. But please have a seat first. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I'm really excited to hear more about Lika. Come in, Juju, my new friend, Juju Bells. <laughs> well, um, Lika basically is our return to the luxury segment. Some years back, Finma, Finma Properties was in the luxury segment. You know, they did projects like Mariposa in Quezon City and, and the Manila Polo Club. And then they answered the call of nation building. Quite a while, they went into the affordable market um but recently you know sometime around 2018 2017 18 we had some inventory and competition was really getting tough here so everybody was building condos because of how expensive land is yeah. so we thought we'd go in between you either had subdivisions or condos but actually there are no more no more new subdivisions here in the metro so that's when we decided to go with medium density townhouses so I mean, considering that, you know, our, one of our core values is patriotism, we decided to go Filipino. So we, talk, we talked to a lot of uh, Filipino architects, then they were shortlisted. We made them talk to our board. So parang the consensus was the Office of Architect Bobby Manios at the time, who was already represented by Jello. Yeah. So, you know, we, we discussed with him and he sent us his design inspirations, which is the Bai Kubo, right? Right, so, right. parang everything yeah, you know, just, just fit in. Yeah, just everything fit in. just fit in. 
luckily while we were finishing the design stages of this that's when uh jealous dad was named national artist wow. so yeah. you know technically this yeah this design is by a national artist yeah yeah it. exactly yeah, yeah. So yeah. things work well so for us known for that filipino art yes right? yes like that's really their special place. right yeah well there are several others who are now known for that they, parang they were the original you know Correct. so we thought we thought with a bank on that also uh, to fit into the Filipino theme or uh, and theme must score value. No? Yeah. Okay, I really love the idea of a Bahay Kubo concept. Can we share more about this? Yeah, so like with the Bahay Kubo concept, we wanted a lot of natural light and air to come in. So when you're inside the house, you pretty much bring the outside in. And at the same time, the house is pretty much self-cooling. So we like that sustainability aspect to it. Yeah, I love it. And it's really about cross ventilation yes. and the skylight, right? Yeah. I'm right. really right. excited right. to see yeah. that later. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's called the Clara Story. Yes. Did I pronounce it right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And especially now, you want that maaliwalas feel, right? right? Yeah. You don't want to yeah. feel like nakakulog ka, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's really typical of a townhouse that it's a little bit, um, I guess, tight. Yeah. So that's yeah. what we wanted. Now we wanted more different. space. We wanted it different. Yeah. And we wanted those specific design features for our project. Fantastic. And, and then, you know, the other thing is considering that we planned this before COVID, Parang COVID helped us, pa, right? I mean, the lessons the lessons learned of the lockdown. Yeah. So, right. parang anti anti pandemic developments, less dense. Yeah, you yeah. you'll actually see it in in the space design that uh, yeah. our architects did uh, from the interior and even like what Alice mentioned earlier, bringing the outside in. Yes, for no, sure. it really helped with that COVID uh, and experience. And you don't, nobody wants to feel locked up anymore or yeah. boxed up, right? You have these balconies. This garden area is still my right. fave. It's it's really, I think, one of the things that people are looking for now. And to be able to like just walk on the street and feel safe. Um, your kids can ride their bikes, you know, just to be able to not be cooped up, right? Yeah, pretty much that's what's really great about this development. Not just the design of the townhouse, but we designed the whole development as 50% open space with 68 units. So we have a lot of space to run around. Yeah, that's yeah. and just for exercise and yeah. wellness, yeah. right? And right. and even your mental health, yeah. right? Just to see green, to see blue skies, to be yeah. not inside the house. Right. Right. And, and Steph, this is a complete development. So maybe Alice, you can tell us more about yeah. the house. Yeah, we wanted to be different from those. I mean, mom and pop townhouses. We wanted a whole complete development with an amenities area. So we have a clubhouse that has a pool, multifunction. Yeah hall and a viewing deck fantastic yeah. so you know it's great especially a pool so important yeah, yeah, we will have yeah. that we will have so that. important <laughs> yeah. well i'm actually really excited to check out what's new and right. like look at the development again i really enjoyed it first time but i'm sure this time i'll have a better appreciation again of what yes, is yes, here yes. at nick yeah, yeah. You know, actually, li living in the South, you're close to everything, especially after the completion of the Skyway, right? right? I mean, even if you live in Quezon City now, it's no problem. I've been living here since, what, 2003? Uh, it, it, it's, it's very different. The air is very different. So, you know, it's really a suburb feel, but you have all the uh, amenities, amenities and yeah, the stores, the, the, the places of, yeah, the conveniences so of urban life. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, Lika Residences is really close by all these um, yeah. um, shops, uh, malls, and then the key areas around uh, the Alabang area. So, let's talk about the units here. Are there any for sale? Are they, you still have to build? Oh, well, well, yeah, well, now that you mentioned it, actually, we have two. RFO units available, wow. so right beside us. So Enrique, you can be neighbors with Steph yeah, if you decide to like yeah. live That's here. Wow, so I, I don't know if you want to be neighbors yeah. with John Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so at least it's move-in ready. It's pretty much Fantastic. easy to yeah. move here. Yeah. Well, you heard that, guys. So you should visit because the units are really nice. I mean, we're gonna show a little tour, sure, right? Yes, yes, but yes, nothing yes, beats good. actually seeing it yes. in yeah. person. So Steph, uh, let me take you on the tour. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Pete. And guys, why don't you join us for the house tour? Yes. All right, come on, let's go. All right, Steph. So our I first stop see. is yeah. uh, this is our uh, sampayan. Okay. All right, so it's an integral part of the design of the house. No? So we really made sure that uh, as part of the Filipino theme, uh, we had this specific part of the house. 
um, design. But you know, it makes sense because one, it's energy saving, the yeah. bath. If you're gonna run right. your dryer right. all right. the time, Correct. better Correct. na lang to hang it in fresh yeah. air. And actually, it smells better. Yeah, yeah. It won't stink. It. <laughs> if it's really like well ventilated right. like this. Also, Correct. Correct. Yeah. maybe you didn't think about it, but for me, I see this as extra storage. Your oh, mga right. garden tools or your right. kids' bikes, bikes or yeah. whatever. Right. Your mga right. Toys ng garden. Namin kalat ng mga kids. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so let me bring you in and let's, I'll show you the wash area. So, Steph, this is this is the laundry area or the wash area. No? So, we made sure that at least a washer dryer could fit here. We have some cabinets already in place. Yeah. So, it's part of what you get. And also this sink over here. So, this is where you can uh, wash and then. And, and, and I really love stuff. it because, you know what, the truth is, parang why not make the workspaces nice? Right. You know, like, right. diba guys, like, ba, hindi lang basta tambakan lang ng mga labada, <laughs> yeah. no? At least, it looks so, nice. So, even if you're the one doing laundry or even right. your mates doing laundry, right. ma motivate sila yeah. to keep yeah. it clean. <laughs> yeah. and I think we have ample cabinet space. Yes, yeah. I remember when we were designing this, we really took uh, into consideration comments from moms. Yeah. So uh, very important. Very pinterest <laughs> yeah. the laundry room. And there's yeah. also natural air flow. Yeah, exactly. So again, so you, have you don't have that smell. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this cool. is, the ba, if I remember you made too. room. This is the So nice, room. Maya. Wow. It's really nice. I mean, even the wallpaper, <laughs> the way they de decorated everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, Steph, uh, the important highlight of this area is really the ample space. So it was really a conscious decision in our design process to give ample space for the back of the room. No? You don't want it to too cramped also no. you know, for them. Yeah. After all, you know, they help you out in the entire exactly. household. Exactly. And even the closets, are so much. Wow. Yes, so the closet comes with the room already. And uh, like what we mentioned earlier, uh, there's natural light also for this bedroom. Yeah. There's a huge awning window. Uh, for this room also facing which out. gives like nice ventilation right, and fresh air right, which is right. so important yeah, it's not yeah. too kulug and there's right. a fan yeah. and also. there's a fan yeah, so right. you'll see actually Steph I'll show you um, the bathroom and I think um, it's really really spacious for uh, the back of the room but again it's a conscious design decision Fantastic. Yeah. Um, they also have their own uh, toilet and bath Steph so it's really spacious okay Steph so this door over here is what separates the back of the house from the yeah. front of the house. No? So what we did to also save on space is sure. uh, we made a sliding door. So this is a sliding door. It's perfect. Right? That separates us from uh, the front of the house. And you know what, Enrique? A lot of people forget sliding doors as such an easy way to save space, right? right? So right, right. you know, guys, when you're building your homes or maybe making renovations, Consider correct, using correct. sliding so, doors. Yeah, 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 correct. So the other purpose of this sliding door is that let's say you go out of the country or you're out of town, and um, let's say you have household help, you can just always close it up, and, and everything and is everything. This a whole suite to themselves. Yeah, you know, and stuff like that. So Fantastic. there you go. Okay. So let me take you to the foyer. Please yes. go ahead. So this is the foyer, the and the main entrance of the house. So what we have here is um, the moment you enter is we have this space for you. You know, now during the pandemic, you want to remove Actually, your shoes. Actually, it used to be a welcoming <laughs> yeah, space and right. now it's from sanitized. Pang sanitized. So you had <laughs> your temperature check mall, you can have it here. Logbook. Okay, logbook. Correct. And over here. Shoes. Yeah, so I, I, this is a storage room. But there's some electrical boxes. But I'd like to call it also like a mud room. So you can store stuff, put your shoes. Your jackets is so and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes. For me, I don't know about you guys, pero ang dami kong color sa bahay. <laughs> okay, not me, not me, not me. And, and I'm not allowed to say my wife. So. I have to always find storage. That's right, always helpful. Right. Kahit yung mga maleta. Right? Correct, correct, Especially correct. now, hindi na tayo ng bumiya. Yeah, so we have space here for <laughs> so all your manetas. So we can put it there. Yeah. All your suitcases yeah. are there. Okay. okay. So let me take you upstairs. Okay, step. perfect. I actually remember something special mm -hmm. about these steps, right? Brian, yeah. you guys have a special name for yeah, it. Yeah, so it's called uh, Senorita Steps. No? So Senorita Steps, basically it's easy to go up. Yeah. So you don't have to step too high mm -hmm. to be able to go up. So it's really friendly for 
um, older people yeah. uh, as well, and for kids, for most kids. definitely. Yeah. Right. Well, I am Senorita Steph. No. Yes. Senorita, oh, yes. Steph. <laughs> Senorita Steph, let's go. <laughs> yes. All right. So, Steph, if you notice, part of our stairs, we already have built in LED lights yes. uh, that go with the stairs. No? So, it helps up with the, the lighting. Especially at night, right? And yeah. for for I know my mom and my dad, my goodness, or with my kids even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So one of the things I remember here that okay. I really liked about this place is that there are these louver windows in the staircases, so you can actually aerate the staircases. Right, you don't feel right. that the kolob smell, yes, right? Yes. And it promotes uh, natural light yes. and uh, ventilation. So yes, we do have the automated uh, louver windows mm -hmm. for that purpose. So. Um, it's actually controlled by a remote uh, here in the second okay. level. And so fancy. Yeah, it's so fancy. Finally, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's that's the purpose of that. And it really um, gives emphasis to the entire stairwell for, for lighting and ventilation. Okay, so this is the living and dining <laughs> yes, area. Yes. Yeah, so nice. You know, one of the other features that like I remember that I like mm -hmm. because it kind of was like a feature wall was the chevron grills right, that are right. over here yeah, and yeah. it reminds me of those kind the old style windows, windows in the old houses yeah, yeah, yeah. right so it has that so they, the, our interior designer really said no th this has to be chevron windows yeah so that pattern there over there so it's yeah. really cool because you've got that sort of same Filipino vibe but modern mm -hmm. right yes. so and I noticed also a lot of like local furnishings and the light fixtures are so right. nice yeah I know the guys who make this <laughs> so galang yeah. yeah they're so known for you know Filipino artists just really are all about mm -hmm. the weaving the right. guys right? right like and the guys behind these lights they're schema, schema right? correct, yeah. correct. so they're known for wire weaving so correct special. that's correct yeah, yeah. And that's why we use them okay so I really love that everything kind of flows right, right? so I mean the kitchen's just right there the dining the living and I really yeah. like yeah. it when it's not separated to be honest because mm -hmm. then people can hang out there and then after dinner sit here or you that's can invite right. more that's guests right. mm -hmm. okay I love the balcony yeah. because I really like open spaces so can you imagine guys you're gonna open this all up okay. you have some it. friends over pang pika pika then bukas to parang sarap al yeah. fresco and actually when when we had this huge aluminum sliding window this is actually from a company called Rainiers it's a Belgian uh, brand so this imported and um, part of this is if you notice the railing is we used a tempered uh, tempered glass railing for here because we really wanted to bring the outside, outside in, in like what we mentioned earlier. So it's earlier. unobstructed, yeah. right? You don't that, that's safe, huh? that's very safe. Of course. <laughs> and it's nice because you can really see the green. Right. So let's say if you just sit down here, Steph, open your blinds, your curtain, open the window, and you really see straight out. Or okay, guys, morning coffee. Right. I like to wake up really early yeah. before my kids wake mm -hmm. up and then mm -hmm. I'll have my coffee with my dog. <laughs> with pepper. <laughs> perfect pepper. spot. Perfect Mag spot for you. <laughs> meditate, pray right. in the morning. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay. So nice. Well, I'm excited to see one of my favorite spaces which is the kitchen. Right. Let me take you to the kitchen. Okay, my favorite spot here is uh -huh. always, of course, the kitchen. Right, right. Love this kitchen. Even the counter, you know, the stone counter, it's yeah. so useful. So, kahit mainit, galing the stove or right, the oven, right, you just right. put it here, right? Correct, it's correct. so good. And even like anything gets um, sort of. If you drop something there, mm -hmm. it's okay. Easy to clean. It's easy to clean. Yeah, definitely. It's so important. Yeah. Now this is a unique feature here, right? right. So this is a this Bahai is... Kubo inspired area. Exactly. So yes, Steph, no, this is called a bangerahan. So in other words, is it's a dish drying rack. So this is already built in uh, with, with, with this countertop. And underneath here are drains and it's easy to clean. What's really great is that 
you know, you can you don't need to use that space anymore right. for like right. some unsightly dish dryer, yeah. right? <laughs> Pwede na dito. Oh, you don't know how Pinoy are, no? I would actually <laughs> put by that. correctly mga plastic yeah. na ganun. And I would actually put um all my plants. Right, nice right. light, fresh air. Right. It's wonderful. All right. So aside from that, Steph, um, if you notice, uh, as a mom, as someone who loves to cook as well space and storage space in the kitchen is very important so this kitchen comes already with all these built-in cabinets that you see and another key highlight is this um drawer it's a soft close drawer so there you go all right so steph this is the bathroom for the second floor and it's a complete toilet yeah, and bath, right? So this caters actually to guests mm -hmm. and to the bedroom that I'm about That's to show you Perfect. for this floor. Fantastic. All right. So Steph, this is the first bedroom of the house. And um, actually it's, a, it's an ample space for a small bedroom. It actually fits a queen size bed, no? Mm -hmm. And probably for some people, they might want to convert it, like what you mentioned earlier. Yeah, like right. my personal idea, because yeah. I really love open spaces. Mm -hmm. You know, kanina you mentioned the sliding door. Right. This would right. be great, like if you make it by sliding door, so correct, you can correct. actually open and close if you want. Right. The maybe a sofa bed. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have guests, by the bedroom, <laughs> yeah, and right. then it can be like a home office, home office right, especially right. now that may work from home or for the kids, right? So yeah. definitely, then you could slide it open or right. close, right. right? Correct. Cool. And and what I failed to mention earlier, Steph, no, um, the entire house and all the rooms come already with an air conditioner. So it, it already comes built in with the house and all rooms would have also ceiling fans as well. Fantastic, yeah. I love it. Yeah, so there's ceiling fans and the air con, but you also have the really nice windows, big windows. Yeah, Lalo yeah, na ngayon, yeah. it's October, November. It's You're gonna keep cool your breeze. cool breeze, yeah. fresh air, right? You don't need any more to turn on the air right. con. Okay, well, I am excited to go to the third floor. Are you guys also excited? Right. Uh -huh. So let's go. Yeah. All right, so Steph, another key feature of the house no, is really this chandelier. No? So it's part of the overall theme of the house being yeah. Filipino. So if you can, if you notice, it's like a weave type of chandelier. And it comes from the same suppliers yeah, as our dining room chandelier. And I like how it casts like these shadows on the right. water. It so reminds you of like a parole or, you know, yeah. something. Or the capis lights that, right. you know, so traditionally. So let me take you up. Yes. Right, Steph. So this is one of the main features of the house no? here in the third level and it's called uh, Clara Story. And what this Clara Story does is that it provides natural lighting yes. for the entire uh, house and stairwell. And also if you notice the dark uh, edges, yeah. the square one, mm -hmm. that's, those are actually vents. Oh. There are vents there, you know, so that um, the hot air would just go out from there. So it's oh, a natural wow. ventilation as well. That makes a lot of sense, guys, because hot air naturally goes up. So right. parang hinihigo, hinihigo it like yeah. vacuums right. out the hot air. So cool. if you recall, we have that automated yes. um, louvers. louver windows. Mm -hmm. So from that and with this one, it really circulates the air yes. in this house. Plus all your huge windows. So Steph, let me show you the second bedroom. Okay. So this is the second bedroom. Again, it's pretty much the same size as yeah. the bedroom number one. So you can put a queen size bed. Um, you, you have this. Uh, you have this huge windows again. Yeah. That we pretty much put in all our bedrooms. And this room now has its own toilet and bath. Oh, so, so it has its own toilet yes, and bath. Yes, it has its own toilet and so bath already. Nice though, so it's like a proper bedroom, right. relaxed. Right. And correct, I like it correct. has like really nice cabinets and built-in features. And this is already built in, the cabinets Perfect. are built in. Yeah. So really when you come in here and when you, or you purchase a, a unit from us, you just it's bring in complete. all your furniture. Now. Okay, yeah. next is the master's bedroom. All right, let me take you yes, to the master's bedroom. That's where my favorite spot is. All right, so Steph, this is the master's bedroom. So come in. Yes, actually, this is where my favorite spot in mm -hmm. all of Lika in this townhouse. Why so? Okay, I love the balcony. 
Right. Because I think it's so special mm -hmm. that you have a balcony in your master's bedroom. Right. That's My favorite spot. The balcony. This one. All right. So part of the design, I like what we mentioned earlier, no stuff. We have the tempered glass railing yes. over here, so it brings the outside in. So even Perfect. if you're just in bed, you look out, you, you, see. you, you see the entire development. Yeah. And it's nice because you've got the clubhouse there, mm -hmm. you've got the church, and right. I think that's the school, no? Yeah, Southridge? Yeah, so th that's Southridge. Yeah. This is the Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish for uh, the South, uh, the Hillsborough, Alabang yeah. Hills area. And um, to be honest, this is where I would like sit in the morning mm -hmm. and then like meditate. You know, another, <laughs> feature, you know, another feature I forgot to mention, Steph, no? All the balconies also come with this um, plant boxes. I see. It's so nice. Right, yeah, right. So again, um, well, it helps with with uh, the like mass structure and, and it, yeah. it softens the facade. You and know, you know what? I I noticed nowadays people really want plants. Right. They really right. want nature. Mm -hmm. And because of the lockdown, the like we want to have it at home. Correct. Right? Correct. Really have the plants and greens and be close to nature. Yeah. And if you can't travel, then let's just have it at right. home, right? Right. Okay, so these are all your other developments. Right, sorry. Right? So if you notice here, we're, we're already building the next block over mm -hmm. here. These, it's still the three story townhouses. Yeah. But right smack in the middle uh, of the entire development are our four-story townhouses, so the bigger units. No? Yes. Uh, the difference is um, the fourth floor is actually an open deck. Oh, wow. The, the roof is still there. If you just imagine this master's bedroom without without the doors mm -hmm. in the window, it's just an open area where... Nice. It's like an open lanai. Right? Actually, that's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's an extra luxury right. to have a big open space, do the Correct. barbecue. And the, the other difference of that area, if you notice, um, there are roads in between the lots. No? Mm -hmm. Actually, those are not uh, open roads like this. No? Yes. There will be an elevated garden uh, on oh, top wow. of these roads wherein it's a shared garden space amongst the different units within that that's block or wonderful. that space. So that's something very different from all other townhomes uh, in the metro. Mm -hmm. Okay, one last feature and then I'll tell you what. I'm hungry now. All right, yeah. <laughs> I want okay. our yeah. So let's yeah. see first the bathroom. You said sure. this is your favorite spot. Yeah, it is spot. my favorite okay. spot. <laughs> All right, so Steph, this is the master's toilet and bath. Yes. So again, we made sure there's enough space uh, for this. And like what you mentioned, no, the reason why I like this is um, I, I, well, I helped out with the design as well. Is I separated or we separated the toilet from the shower. Yeah. All right. So there's privacy. <laughs> privacy. All right. Especially <laughs> you if you're your married, business. you don't have to fight over who's using what. Then and the then double sink. The double sink. And so, ample closets. Definitely. I mean, so again, uh, these closets are um, all imported. They're from Italy. And if you notice, we have LED lights. Oh wow! Uh, it. So it's well lit. And again, soft close. I love it. Right. So just like when you live in a condo, yeah. you have the property management service. You can just call them up anytime if you have any problems. No? And it's a complete full service from security to maintenance to even community development. So they're also in charge of making sure that you know, all of you guys or all of us guys here are all friendly with it with each other. That's so great. So that's the service that comes with buying Fantastic. a unit Fantastic. You know what's instance. good? It's like it's like having a house without the headache. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So I remember you telling me earlier <laughs> you're building your house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. And maintaining it. For sure. So there are so many amazing things about this property. But you know what, Nikkei? One of the things that I really love is that everything is so thoughtfully decorated. All the spaces are well adjusted. And I really like how you carried out the Filipino theme all throughout the house. But it's still so current. Okay, enough about the house. I want some merienda. So guys, are you ready for merienda? I really 
enjoyed our tour and our walkthrough but of course this is our favorite part we could have Marietta and today I brought you guys a little grazing board but in theme with Likha and the residences it's modern Filipino with some Filipino tropical flavors you know how in France or in Europe they love to pair like sweet and savory right so you know we don't have to go with European flavors all the time and actually dried mango or dried banana dried langka are a great pair for cheeses and in case you guys didn't know you guys also we have some really amazing cheeses in the Philippines now so these are Malaga's farmed cheeses this is called mango sublime so it's like a goat cheese from Davao with some dried mango so it'll pair really well with the other dried mango here but it's another assortment this is a truffle cheese and this is another kind of goat cheese also from Davao and then this is actually a burrata from here long in the south so really nice because this is made with like the um, buffalo milk and they're able to make like the same kind of burrata from Italy really lovely also we have a lot of nuts in the Philippines and these cashews are actually from Palawan so nice. really nice so but it's really grow it right yes yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. 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 so obviously perfect pairing fruit and nuts and then you have the that sort of still Filipino vibe with the nice flavors is perfect for merienda. Yeah. The important thing is it doesn't look kawawa. Dapat okay, puno. Okay. Puno, puno. Yes. Yeah, but there's there's a certain nice look to something like this. So Yes, for sure. It's you know, also I, I, easier I was just wondering to what the science yeah. of it is. There's no science. Basta mukhang masarap. <laughs> okay. So that's the important part. Yes. Basta mukhang masarap. Yes. And masarap. And, and, and parang bountiful. Yeah. Right? Correct. Not like Correct. one cheese and tatlong salami. Parang okay. kawawa. <laughs> yeah, well, Steph, everything looks great. Um, can we start eating? Yes, sure. for sure. sure. Wow. I really had a good time, guys. It was so much fun. You thank know? you. Thank you for, for coming here, uh, yeah. Steph. Yeah, thank and you. it was nice to thank come you. back after a few months and see sort of how right, things right. kind of like all the plants are so much about now. What a beautiful afternoon I had. Really, the Lekha residences, townhomes are a true testament to modern Filipino architecture. And what's even better, the location. It's so accessible. You guys have to see it for yourself. If you guys want to learn more about the Lekha residences and schedule your visit to the showroom and the property, please connect with them on their social media platforms and through the contact details flashed below. Book your appointment now because I guarantee you, you won't regret it. It's a beautiful, beautiful place.